Okay, so. So are these like the these dummy are the flippers. These are the flippers. Oh. Yeah. So he can't run. No. You oh, have to. See. You have to play it uh, very, very safe. So. so I wonder. I'm tempted just to use a uh, fat Jim Rayner here as like, the, <laughs> as the uh, the bait. Have him tank. Well, he has a shotgun, so it just seems like the, the companions aren't very uh, very smart. <laughs> I swear, he looks like Jor-El, except with the suit. Except he's suit. fat. <laughs> oh, Jor-El looks pretty fat, too. I think it was just the garb, you know. Oh, fuck, man, I didn't throw it for him. I threw it too far. Where's the uh, teddy bear? What teddy bear? COD style? Nazi zombies? Oh, you mean the Easter egg? Yeah, the Easter egg. Nah, I'm not gonna use it today. I fucking hate those things. Oh, by the way, the uh, the AI. Oh shit. Oh, you're right. Yep, I pressed the wrong button. Why can't you just avoid them? Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Can't you just walk right past them? Like, just, just. Well. Creep right past them? Uh oh. I, I don't think this is the way out. Nope. You got baited. Oh, nope, there it is. I walked right past it. Oh shit. They're coming. Yep. Yeah, the uh your AI teammates, they, they don't get detected as easily, like unless they walk like right into them. I see like bump bump right into them. So this is supposed to be a stealth sequence. Yeah, essentially. Oh. No, it, it, he, he, he can't. So can you just stand still right next to the flippers? You could, but if they bump into you, I mean, it's gonna be, oh. gonna be bad. Oh, dead end. Yeah. Yeah, they, they made it like that because they couldn't, uh... They couldn't find a way to code the AI so that they, they uh... They don't keep fucking up, you know? So yeah. just decide to, to make it easy. Yeah, there's artificial intelligence. And yeah. Yeah, there was a part where I was uh, trying to get a clicker away. Yeah. And Tess just ran right in front of it. Zipped right past it. Scared the shit out of me. So, is there a lot of glitches in this game so far? Locked. No, not really. But, no. I mean, the teammates did uh, try to sandwich me. <laughs> and bumped them out of the way. Hold up. I got a key away. for that gate. I thought he said he hadn't been through here and he has a fucking key through this for this door. He wasn't very quiet. Either. Runners! Easy. Hold up, guys. Yeah. So. So if somebody's blind, why would it matter if they're crouching or just walking? Because they hear by, by sound. If you, yeah. There's a, no, like, part of the game, like, part of the tutorial. Or it was like you have to tap it like slightly, you know, to uh, in order to uh, like make it pass quicker by walking right by him, you know. <laughs> the runners aren't very smart either. They actually can't uh, can't see the you know, flashlight. But when you do the curve stomp, it means nothing else. It usually means nothing else is uh, in range, you know. Yeah. I'm gonna take this one out anyway. Well, you weren't kidding about this place, were you? Holy shit, there's a lot here. Yeah, and if you if you crouch walk too fast, they'll they'll turn around and like, sort of you know take a swing at you. So you oh. gotta you gotta be careful. I wonder if they swing at each other. <laughs> I haven't I mean, seen that yet. You know, kind of like the um, the nurses from Silent Hill. Never, never they react to the sound, right? So as long as so you're they're quiet. like clickers. Yeah, are they're they, like clickers. Are they blind? They are blind. They are okay. hot and blind. <laughs> Lots of cleavage, you know. <laughs> so you walk past them and you make a little bit of sound. They start moving and they have a knife in their hand, so they end up like slashing one another. Oh, so they just they just yeah. swing like indiscriminately. Mm -hmm. Right. And sometimes they whack at each other and yeah. Yeah. Boobies everywhere. <laughs> so that's a. 
Who makes Silent Hill? Konami. Konami. Right. Let me take more parts. I wonder if oh, I can't pick up the propane tank. Oh. I sell propane and propane accessories. I'll when tell I tell you what. When I grow up, I want to sell propane and propane accessories. Just like my father. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't say that. Let's see. Oh, that's a clicker. Goddamn clickers. All right, this looks like it's gonna be uh, interesting to to figure out how to get through this part. Yeah, so this is where the uh, this is where detective this vision comes in to navigate. Yeah, on the on the higher difficulties, you don't get a uh, you don't get the detective vision. Really? Nope. What do you use? Nothing. Do you get it for well, like you only half get, a second? No, you only get you only get sight. I hope there's not like a lot of loot in this area because I am just sort of I'm not I'm not like blasting through, but you know. Oh, the 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 runners, like the runner is the the first tier of of zombie, right? Uh huh. They cannot see the uh, the flashlight doesn't uh, affect them. Hmm. <laughs> Another bow. Why would you need two bows? Maybe you can use it for parts. I don't know why Ellie doesn't pick it up. I mean, she has one in like the. Like what did I say shots. about the upper body strength? Ellie lacks upper body strength. She's got a lot of lower body strength. <laughs> she's doing, just, a, lot, she's just, doing a lot of crouching, so... She, she probably can't even string that bow. This way. Uh-oh. No, stringing bow's pretty hard. It's tied on the other side. What about going through here? You kick it down. What, the doggy door? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> very... Superhuman strength. He just lifted. Maybe you should have given her that. Okay. And Joel is a freak. There's no, there's no denying that. He's fifty. One of those clicker things inside the house. Fifty Whoa. years old. Fifty years old and still. Oh, shit. You know who who he looks like? I haven't seen this yet. No, he looks like Stay down. Tiff Nadell. Who is Tiff Nadell? You know how there's Top Gear and there's Fifth Gear? I've never seen Fifth Gear. I only watched Top Gear. Tiff Nadell looks exactly like him. I. I honestly think isn't that isn't like fifth gear the the German version of top no, it, gear? No, it's it's English, but it's just like um, uh, they they re review cars. It's not entertainment like. Top oh, it, gear. so it, it's it's, it's, more it's purely educational. It's it's uh, edutainment still, but um, top gear is purely entertainment. Well, I mean, you can you've learned a few things from top gear, right? Yeah, but like how to fit a fit a. What is it, like a 40, 40 inch waist into size 26? Yeah, the, the running joke about Jeremy Clarkson is that he's he could fit his 40 inch waist into 32 inch pants, and that's a magic trick. He's been doing that for 20 years. Yep. Yeah, this guy looks like Tiff. Um, he, he's he's, a, on, he's on, a gentleman. Is it on BB, BBC? Mm, I'm not I've sure. Never, not BBC it, America. Though. It's not on BBC. Oh, America. It's, it's, so only only the English gets. Yeah, the, you know how they have like uh, three stations or something over there, four or five big stations. Don't they have like BBC One, BBC Two, yeah. BBC Three? Yeah, some some shit like that. Yeah. Tiff Nadell, what we say in the situation? Oh, this this house is fascinating. Look at the assortment of books on the ground. It house? Make, I thought it was a car show. A house. It, well, what, what he would say in this situation uh -oh. if he was Joel. As you can see, the previous owners have taken very good care because of the, the decay on the floor after 20 years is still in pretty no, good you, condition. You gotta <laughs> you gotta raise and lower your voice at certain times because he, he makes it really, really, really dramatic. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> He's like, this car is so delightful to drive. I would drive this thing every day. Right. It's pretty entertaining. But Not a bad show. It's like di a well, different a different way to enjoy like cars, I guess. I have a feeling that he is a, he is the current stick for the last couple of years. You think has it been the same stick for a while? They they say he's got the same line as the stick right, on, because the same, same line. All yeah, the same lines. Yeah. You know how the stick doesn't follow the typical F1 driver line. But right. that's been like that's like what all the sticks do, right? No, all, all the stigs are different. 
Oh, yeah, so you're, you're just talking about the current stick. Yeah, so okay. I, I guess there's speculation that the way he drives and the way the current stick drives is similar. So he used to be an F1 driver. <laughs> Are so, all the sticks former yeah. F1 drivers? Well, they all have to be. They have to be like stunt drivers or something. <laughs> really, they have to be really good drivers. Yeah, they're. You got friends in town? No. Although I got some idea who might have come through here. School's on the other side of this house. Let's get inside. Come on, Ellie. Where is Ellie? Where's the fall damage? I haven't. Fa I th this is this is a good fall. I mean, it's okay. Ugh. <laughs> I think we're good. No, that that wasn't no. um, Joe. That was me. <laughs> I think they His legs are too good. powerful. Nope. I'm good. He's we're all fine. Let's just keep going. He's much more uh, buffed up than than all of us. Fifty years old. I hope I look that good in fifty in thirty years. <laughs> Thank God. Hell, I don't think you looked like that when you were 15. <laughs> Let's not, not lie to even, ourselves. Not even close. We just don't have the uh, genetic makeup to have that kind of build. Yeah, I've got shitty genetics. On both sides of the family. <clears throat> For those who don't know, my family has a genetic predisposition on my mother's side to have heart problems, so I have to now taking steps to you know, stay active, relatively active, and, uh, you know, eat, eat relatively decent. Guys, I was proactive, and I caused my own heart, heart problems. I eat a lot of red meat, a lot of meat, and proteins in general, and dairy products. So, I caused my own demise. <laughs> you haven't admitted defeat already, have you? No, I haven't. No. <clears throat> we're still rel decently young. Yeah. There's, we there's are getting old, yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> time, time goes by too quick. Work, work. Oh, work. Give me a hand with this. Zug, zug. Zug, zug. zug, zug. <laughs> That's it. I'm dead. I think I do a pretty pretty good peon. Or, yeah. No, peasant, peasant. <laughs> That's not even close. <laughs> I could have been saving. Start to work. Whoa, work. Yes, me lord. <laughs> yes, me lord. <laughs> That's it. I'm dead. When you ring the ring the bell for the, the call to arms. <laughs> hey, the militia's not bad. It, you'd be like the fucking Jack man. Tell them about the time where these guys we played two on two, a quick match against somebody. Yeah, they're, they're like GG. You gotta halfway that. through the game. I think. Uh, not right now, Ellie. Okay. Yeah, there, there was a time when we were into Warcraft 3 for a little bit, and we were doing, uh, like, 2v2 ranks and stuff, and, like, this uh, this team we were playing against, they they had us pretty good, right? But They, they, they were pretty cocky. Yeah, th no, they couldn't finish us off, and we just had, they said good game, pr premature good game. Halfway through. Yeah, match. and that we, we made it through, you know, we were able to, to get into late game, Dai could, uh, or Dewey could, uh, he got Tech. his frost worms. Oh, that's and, all I do is tech. I, yeah. I, go, I go straight to attacking, go straight to stage three, and bam. Yeah, our strategy is is I, I build the bulk to, to sort of hold hold them off while uh, while Dewey progresses to, to the tier three. That's pretty much how our strategy goes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, For the most part, it worked. Yeah, it's okay strategy. Yeah, until... Well, that's the problem with us. We weren't able to adapt or and evolve the game. Well, it's so just... We, no, we had that one just, hit. Our, our thing was we just didn't know how to, like, when to when the the opportune time was to attack and when to like expand and all that it's very i mean i mean it's, we didn't quit because we hated the game it's just you know you lose interest with these things after a certain period and after you win like five games in a row we get paired up against different people yeah it's like that i think yeah actually i think that's why we quit because the matchmaking was so fucked and uh, they kept matching us against people that were way way, way too good better for us like people who have been playing, you know, Blizzard RTS games for, you know, what I tell you. years. There's that truck we, sticking out of the school right there. We never changed the game, just uh, kind of tech built up, and then uh, we never harassed, never rushed, none of that. Yeah, when you watch a pro game, and what do you see? Yeah. Fucking asshole with the Blade Master wind walking away. Oh, I hate the Blade Master. <laughs> Holy shit. The Blade Master is the, uh, like, the car of death of the sound. undead economy. Just. Yeah, you have to wall off your uh, your acolytes with the with the ziggurats. Yeah. What a pain in the ass. State thy being. 
I read your eyes. Let's see. Direct my wrath. <laughs> yeah, and I always always builds the death knight every always. single time. The death knight's the only way to go. Just for the <laughs> heal. Just for the heal. <laughs> and the aura. Yeah, at least the heal can be used for damage as well. Let's see here. So this is like a maze of shit right here. Oh yeah, so that you can like actually pop around, pop around the corners and choke people out when the, they're in like the uh, like passive mode. Yeah. So, do you bust out with the? Uh, oh, it's not passive Surprise, anymore. Bitch. <laughs> oh, you just, you just oh. Belly. That's okay. She can't take any any damage. Stick with me. Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to run around in circles so that. Uh, I'm trying to run around in circles so what's his face can blast off some more heads. Does he have infinite ammo? Yeah, he blasted off the one guy's head, but... Okay, oh! Hey, is oh. there a friendly fire? No, I don't no. think so. That's it, we gotta do this fisticuff style! Hey, you can't be oh. beating him. Oh, it doesn't matter now! He, he must have, like, knees of steel or something. Yeah, he's, got, he's definitely got a cover, though, that's for sure. I got it. Get him, get him, coach! Well, I, I should use the, uh, the brick to, to beat him up. <laughs> Look at that brick! How do you decapitate somebody hitting him? Well, I guess the uh, becoming... Did he get mushy? Yeah, I, I guess. Like, the bone structure it, it, weakens, like... it weakens their integrity. I guess. It probably, <laughs> it's probably because they ate chili cheese fries all their life. <laughs> That's what happens. Well, he's, he's, he's got sweatpants, so he's not not in too bad shape. <laughs> That's not bad. He'll use, uh, he'll use the table leg. I wonder why sometimes he pops their head and uh, critical hit. Pops their head, and, like sometimes he just like knocks them out. You know, in Resident Evil Four, you avoid shooting their head, and just in case the uh, yeah, last because, yeah. comes out, you gotta shoot them in the body. And sometimes it's the Lost Plaga still comes out. Yeah, I mean, there's a chance that Lost Plaga comes out regardless. regardless but, but headshots yeah. increase the chance yes. of the Lost Plaga. Yes, so what's Plagas the point of doing headshots in, in Resident Evil 4 if, you know, Lost Plagas are such a pain in the ass to deal with? They're trying to push the, uh, the flashbangs. Well, that's one way to, to get through that part. But, unfortunately, that's all the all the time Dewey has for today, so... Yeah, some people actually have to get back to work. <laughs> Well, I thank you for coming out. Appreciate it. Uh, so, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time. Later, guys.